Hey everybody, Derek here from Elevated Jeeps. We have three wrecked Jeeps behind me. They were all a total loss. And this is actually gonna be the first part of a series. And we're just, we're just gonna be talking about wrecked Jeeps. Um, we're gonna explore some five myths today. Uh, another video, we're gonna do um, just what to look for with a wrecked Jeep. Should you buy a wrecked Jeep? What are you gonna be dealing with? Uh, what should you look for, so on and so forth. So right now, today, five myths. Let's get started. Myth number one, you can't insure a previously wrecked Jeep or a rebuilt title Jeep. That is false. You can. Uh, now, a lot depends on where you are in the country, your state, and what insurance agency you use. Uh, we have State Farm. Uh, this Jeep was a total loss and it is fully insured, total full coverage. So what remains to be seen is if it gets wrecked again, what kind of uh, value they will assess to it. Uh, I assume it won't be fair market value uh, just due to that branded title. But nevertheless, uh, this fella is fully insured as is this one, another total loss. So, that's busted. Next, you can't resell a wrecked Jeep. That is also false. Um, out of the 88 Jeeps that I have owned, I counted today, I think it's been 34 of them that have been wrecked. And out of those 34, well, well there's one sitting here. So, that one hasn't sold, but uh, nevertheless, they will sell. Now, it does take the right kind of person. Um, you know, like a rebuilt title scares a lot of people. There's a lot of shady folks out there that will repair just not even Jeeps, but vehicles and stuff in general. And, you know, just do a shoddy job and give a bad name to those who do actually care and, and do a good job. Um, the other thing with that is you can't get a full loan against a rebuilt title. Uh, so you're looking at a person who's got cash. So, you know, the bottom dropped out of the used car market currently. Um, so, you know what? 75 to $15,000 for a TJLJ. Uh, so you're, you're not gonna get that for, uh, for loan value. So next thing, you won't get full price when you do sell it. That is true. Let me give a thumbs up to that. That is true. Um, uh, depends on who you ask, but uh, you know, you're only gonna get, I don't know, I don't even know, 80% of the actual value. Um, but if you're doing it right, you're buying them right and you're fixing them right, if you're a person that rebuilds Jeeps, you're gonna do just fine. So keep that in mind. Um, oh, you got that rebuilt title Jeep. It won't be right, it won't drive straight. Okay, that's, that's false. Uh, this one, I'll put a picture here, hopefully, down in the right-hand corner, left-hand corner. Um, it, was, it was hit in this back corner and a flare and the back corner was damaged. I had it professionally repaired, $2,200 worth. And I drive this Jeep every single day. Uh, there's, I don't know, roughly 6,000 miles on it. My daughter's Jeep over here, uh, it was hit in the back and it's got about 10,000 miles on it, zero issues. So that one's busted. And then the last one is it's, I've heard, oh, you've wrecked it. It's going to have all kinds of problems. Okay, that's kind of a run on from the last one, but that is also, that is also not true. Now, you uh, get into something like the green one that was hit in the front and say you don't take care of some of the things that are, you know, looming. For example, uh, the steering pump here was was damaged and leaking 
you don't take care of that right out of the gate, you're gonna deal with it later. Um, water pumps, a lot of times in the front, um, they'll take, if it gets hit back far enough, the water pump will kind of have a wobble to it and eventually go out. So yeah, as long as you're taking care of everything right at, right at once, you know, it A, it's fine, but B, like, you know, your rear axle isn't gonna fall out if you were hitting the front. So anyway, just silliness. So I enjoy these things. But anyway, uh, I think that concludes this video. Um, if you have any other myths you want me to look into or talk about, uh, just let me know. Thanks, everybody.